Okay, so in this video, I'll be taking you through the sales contract process in SAP is for HANA by looking at these apps. Firstly, the sales contract fulfillment rates, which gives you an idea of what the percentages are in terms of utilization of your contracts, then how you manage your sales contracts, and then we'll create the sales order to see what the impact is on your sales contract. So let's go into this app. Um, it basically gives you an idea of what the status is and the fulfillment rate is by by contract um, there's a few options here firstly you can look at different currencies you also have the option to play with your view by sales organization by customer if you select you'll see the graph actually changes it gives you the two customers here you can also um, look at different graph types You've got the bar chart, column chart, and so on. I'll select the column chart. You can also look at a pie chart. And then you can also look at the tabular view by customer. And in here, I'm going to select the list of contracts. So this gives you the details of what's going on with your contracts. There's a contract number, sales org, sold to party, then the target values that you set up in your contract. And then here we have the fulfillment rates in terms of values and quantities, and then the elapsed time for the over the contract period. Today we're going to look at this contract and see what the impact is if you create sales orders. There's another option that you can look at the top 10 contracts by target value. It actually gives you a nice graphical display if you select um, the circle. It gives you the details. There's a contract number. The target value and you can drill down to the customer details and so on the next app that i want to show you is how to manage your sales contracts in here you've got your standard selection fields that you can use you can also adapt um, the fields and look at and add more fields if you want to like contract type in here you've got your various contract types usually the standard ones that we use is quantity contracts and value contracts but for now, I'm going to leave it blank. I'm just going to click on go. There's your list of contracts that you have currently in your system. You've got the, the contract numbers, the customer number, the customer reference number. There's the valid to and valid from dates, uh, which are critical. If you look at your, your process, this will direct, direct uh, numbers with the cross actually tells you the the value to date has been passed the the green with the tick mark actually tells you it's still it's still active in terms of your timelines then um, there's a gray one which means it's also it's past its uh, value to date and then the next one is the overall status so it can have a value to date that expired but it's still open in terms of utilization the second one is still is still open in terms of dates, but you're also in process in terms of utilizing this contract. So it's quite useful to look at these uh, different options and fields. Again, you can add fields here, should you wish to do that. Contract type. There you have your value and quantity contracts. And for now, I'm going to go into this one, just to display the contract itself. There's the number, the customer numbers, the customer reference. Here's the valid from and valid to dates, very important. There's your material number and the target quantity, your contract target quantity. So the next step then is to create a sales order with reference to that contract. So you basically select your order type. You select your sales organization distribution channel division and you create with reference you'll see there's a number of options here depending on what you've set up in your copy control you can use inquiries quotations in this case we're going to look at a contract number and we are looking for document number 21 and we say copy so this will then give you the option to create your your sales order we go in 
this is the remaining quantity on your contract so you can say listen now i've got 98 available i only want to order 10 and you save now we forgot about the custom reference which we have to complete and the customer date the reference date which is today and we save again right sales order saved let's go back to the main screen so let's go back to the sales the fulfillment rates um, app and we look at the list of contracts and you will see that this increased the uh, fulfillment rate increased from two percent to twelve percent so this this helps you to manage your your process in terms of seeing uh, which contracts are almost completely used up and that gives you the option then to to act on this and make it make it work for your sales department negotiate for new contracts and to manage your sales process much better thank you for watching this video Cheerio.